tell me exactly what happened. Jake and I went to Derek's party and we were playing beer pong. And then I realized I hadn't seen Jake in a while. So I went out to the porch and I saw him kissing Samantha. I'm sorry that happened, but it seems like you're drunk. Did you drink tonight? Are you really trying to rationalize what Jake did to no, me? No, I'm not drinking? trying to rationalize what Jake did, but I'm telling you that it seems like you're drunk. And if you are, you need to pull this car over. I'm not drunk. I'm just a little tipsy. It's fine. No, it's not fine. You're underage. You should not have been drinking in the first place, let alone be behind the wheel drunk. Are you really going to get mad at me after the night I've had? Do not feel guilty. You have to stand up for your safety no matter what night it is. You have the courage to intervene. By saying something now, you can ensure this doesn't happen again. Intervene and protect yourself. You need to pull into this gas station right now. You're not fit to drive. I'm sorry about what happened with Jake, but right now the biggest problem we have is that you're behind the wheel drunk. Okay, you're right, I'm sorry. You're right, I I'm sorry. I never drink and I don't know why I drank today. I'm sorry I put you in that dangerous situation. I won't do it again, I promise. Can we switch seats? Yes, we can. I'm sorry about what happened with Jake, but when you drive drunk, you endanger not just yourself, but everybody else on the road. You cannot ever do this again. I'm sorry. It's okay, I forgive you. Tell me what happened. Okay. Have the courage to intervene. It is up to you to stick up for your safety.